Welcome back. 1024 is now the time. Some of the world's top tennis players are in Atlanta right now, taking the court for the Truest Atlanta Open presented by Pfizer. Yeah, the tournament returned to Atlantic Station Saturday and continues through this Sunday, bringing thousands of fans up close and personal to the action on the court. Going to be a lot of action, a lot of fun. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live at Atlantic Station this morning. And Paul, you're getting in a few practice serves out there. How you doing? Well, I'm uh, no, I, I've been doing great. You know, my tennis game is very strong. Oh, you both yeah. know this, but I thought I'd take a break. I didn't want to make Nicholas Monroe feel bad because of my inherent talent. You know, you were a little intimidated by me, right? I definitely was. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. that's what I thought. That's what I'd been hearing. Of course, you don't need an introduction. Nicholas Monroe here in the flesh. It's so good to see you, man. How are you? Great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's my pleasure. So a couple years ago, 2018, you took home a win here in doubles. That had to be a great moment winning in Atlanta. No, absolutely. I mean, winning in Atlanta, that was actually my first first ATP title on, on home soil in the USA, playing yeah. with J.P. Smith. So uh, Atlanta has a special place in my heart. And so obviously just happy to, be, happy to be back here in 2021 after not being able to play last year. Yeah. Let's talk about playing this particular tournament. What makes this so special is that it's right here at Atlantic Station. The hotel's right over there. You got restaurants, you got bars, you got things to do. I mean, really everything is right here for you and for the fans. Yeah, from a player's perspective, this is about as good as it gets. Our, like you said, our hotel is a five minute walk from here. So we're able just to kind of walk to the practice yeah. courts, walk to the match courts, the restaurants are right here where we need to eat. So from a player's perspective, it really can't get much better than this. Yeah, well, let's talk about playing in the heat for a minute. We're sitting here sweating just a little bit, of course. It is Atlanta in the summertime. That's got to put different challenges on an athlete to play at a tournament like this in the middle of the summer. No, absolutely. I mean, hydration is just so key here. You know, obviously we, we all walk outside of our hotel room and we're sweating. So it's a uh, hydration is huge, getting proper rest um, yeah. and just kind of staying out of the heat when we're not playing. You know, we, we, we were talking about that earlier. Do we kind of get to go around the city and, and check things yeah. out? We kind of try to stay out of the heat while we're still playing in the tournament just <laughs> yeah. because, as you can see, I'm drenched in sweat. Yes. So so it's just about a lot of rest and just preparing for your matches. Yeah, but I got to say, this guy's a true champ. He's sweating because he was working out and practicing seconds before we went on TV. So we appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. You're playing later on this week. How you feeling? Oh, feeling great. Uh, playing with Lloyd Glasspool. He played at University of Texas. I played at University of North Carolina. We're good friends. Uh, we'll play first round tomorrow at 11 a.m. here on center court. So if anyone's around, come out and watch. Yeah, and something else you're doing now too you've had a long career you've been doing this professionally I think for about 20 years now you're getting into commentating doing the TV stuff how's that going Oh, it's amazing. Uh, working for Tennis Channel, uh, doing some commentating. So it's a lot of fun being going to L.A., commentating. Obviously, I know the guys. I know the players. I know yeah, the tournament. Yeah. So just bringing a player's perspective to, to a broadcast has been a lot of fun and uh, something I like to continue doing. Sadly, what's going to happen is viewers are going to ask for you to take my job. So please, just I need the paycheck. Please don't do it. Okay? No, no, no. You're the man. So I'm just going to learn from you. Th wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate. That's the only time you'll hear a tennis player say that about me. You clearly have never seen what I do on the court. Man, it's great to see you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. It's really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Good luck this week. We'll be watching for you. Again, the Truest Atlanta Open is happening now through Sunday. And I got to say, look, people pay a lot of money to sit where I'm sitting right now at these tables. This is about the best view you can get. We're camped out. We're not moving, okay? I am here for the rest of the tournament because I... I didn't pay that money, so I'm just I'm, uh -uh. I'm infringing on someone's territory, and I'm taking I'm camped advantage. Out. I'm here, ladies. Taking advantage, you not doing in? your job. I'd like to know how much you paid Nick Monroe to actually say all those wonderful things about you and compliment you. How much they want to know if I paid cost? you to say nice things about you. Yeah. Did I? No, absolutely not. I mean, come oh. on, this is the man right here. That it was I mean, a lot of money. His <laughs> check is so in the mail, like Sweet. big time of check, like thousands. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Tim, thank you for that. <laughs> the man behind the camera who knows everything that's going on. All right, yep. Paul, thank you.